Hi everyone and welcome back to the Beginners Free CAD series for version 1. We will move on to the polar pattern. We use the tool to create a pond planter. It requires a large number of holes in different configurations. This allows the roots to migrate out into the pond while keeping the plant contained. As usual, I'm in the part design workbench. To create a new document, I'm going to create a new body and a new sketch. We're going to tackle it from the side profile. So the XZ plane to create a sketch that will revolve. I'm going to use the polyline and I'm going to look at the measurements by the side of my mouse pointer. From the vertical axis, I'm going to come out around about 60 millimeters. Now this doesn't have to be as that, it's just to get the geometry in the ballpark. And I want to come up 60 millimeters. So I'm just going to pan the 3D view down and come up to around about 60 millimeters. I may have to zoom the 3D view if needs be, and we'll drop our first point of the polyline, move in about 20 mil, click again, and come down to the horizontal axis, and we're just going to drop a point there and then come in, like so. Let's come up around about three mil, and then just trace a line back roughly, and then connect up. Coincident to the endpoint. Right click to cancel the tool, right click again. Let's start adding some constraints. Now I'm going to use the horizontal vertical constraint and neaten up these edges here, making sure the horizontal and vertical. And this one looks okay. Those are attached. And we need to adjust these two as well. So I'm going to right click and use a parallel constraint between these two here. Right click to cancel and we'll make this edge and the other one, make those equal. Now I'm going to use the dimensioning tool. And if I take this point, what will happen, we'll automatically dimension to the center point of our sketch. And we'll set a length of 60 millimeters. Let's do the same for the bottom. We could use the edge or the point and set that to 20 millimeters. That's set the constraint from here, going to the center point, come up and we'll set that one to 40 millimeters and set the length between these two points. We've got that length there. We'll set that to 2.5. Right click to cancel. And we need to zoom in and set this height here. I'm going to set that one to two millimeters. At the moment, this can still move. It can move up and down, so we need to set a height. Let's set a height between this point and this one. And set that to 60 millimeters. We've got a fully constrained sketch. Let's hit close. And we can hit home on the keyboard to center that. Let's zoom out a bit, select the sketch, and we'll create a revolution. We revolve the sketch, and let's hit OK. So my next task is to create some slots that run around this surface and out the other side. Now I can't attach a sketch to this surface. If I create a sketch on there, it's going to tell me that it's not planar face. So it can't support the sketch. So we've modeled this around the center point. So I'll make sure nothing's selected and create a sketch upon one of the base planes that is closest to that orientation, which is the YZ plane. We change the attachment mode of the sketch in a moment. Let's use the view section and create some slot geometry. And we'll attach the slot geometry, basic slot geometry in here like so. Let's get some dimensions in. You notice this is not constrained to a center point or imported point at the moment. Let's use the dimensioning tool and take the top arc and set that to 2.5 millimeters. Now we've got a redundant constraint here. I'm going to click that and hit delete. So this arc Something happened there, let's do that again. Let's take that arc and put a constraint in there. That's better. Set that to 2.5 millimeters. 
that's set height between this point and this point and set that to 40 millimeters. Now the center point of the sketch, this one here, is the point of origin for this feature. Now if I line this feature up, what we can see is that the slot will slot through this shape. So I'm going to adjust it from this point and this one, and we'll set that distance away from the bottom point. I say 12 millimeters. So if I use the pocket with this, it will pocket straight through this way. But the edges of that pocket will be straight through the cross section, so it'll be a straight cut. So what I'm going to do is close. We can see the sketch within there. I'm going to hide the revolution, open up the revolution, and inside we have a sketch. So this is the revolve sketch. Let's press the space bar to see it. My aim is to attach this geometry onto this sketch using attachment mode. So that's select the sketch. This one's selected. We look down, the attachment support is the YZ plane, the base plane. The map mode is flat face. I select that and click on the button on the end. We're going to use an advanced attachment mode and this is an alignment mode. So where it says plane, let's click that and the first reference that we want to select is this point here. It's inner point at the bottom. So we've selected a vertex. At the moment we've got translate origin. So remember what we were saying with the sketch. The origin is that center point of the sketch. So if I OK this, I haven't finished with the attachment and double click the sketch. The origin you see now is at that vertex. So we can see the origin there. Let's close that and come back into our last sketch and come back to the map mode. It's now translate. So reference two, I'm going to select that and I'm going to select this edge. So we've got the attachment mode failed, but you see different attachment modes have been made visible now. And we're interested in the align ONX, ONY, etc. So if we look, we've got three items on the align. The O is the origin, the N is the normal, the X is the axis of the sketch. So you'll see O, X, Y. So we've got origin, X axis, Y axis. So the origin is already placed where we want it. I'm selecting the sketch edge. So if we look down, we need to know what axis runs this way. Now I believe it's the Y. There's this one here, Y. You can always go through some of these until you get the right ones but the Y axis is the one I want. So if I OK that and go back to the sketch, we can see what's happened. See the green axis that runs this way. This is the Y axis of the sketch, not to be confused with the Y axis of our 3D view, the global coordinate system. X runs this way, Y runs this way, origin is at the point here. And we've aligned the origin and the axis to our attachment mode. Let's hit close. So we can bring back the revolve now. Click on it, press the space bar. Inside, we can see, I click off, well, if I hover over, it's probably embedded in there, the sketch there. I can use that sketch and pocket through. Now, if I hit pocket, it's not pocketed all the way through and out the other side because it's slightly embedded in the surface. So we may need to use a two dimensional pocket. That allows me to pocket out both ways. So the length, I've got five millimeters one way, doesn't need to be that far. Three millimeters is enough. And the second length, if I bring this down to one millimeter, that's going out this way, you can see we've got the result that we need. The lines, those are just the sketch that's still visible. Use the eye on the end, 
hide it or press the spacebar. We've got the first pocket. And now I'm going to take the pocket. The alignment is correct. So we get a nice cut through our revolve. Select the pocket, select the feature, and then we use the polar pattern. Or select it from part design, plier pattern, and polar pattern. So now we've got to select the axis. At the moment, it's normal to sketch. We want it around the Z axis. Drop this down and pick Z axis. We look to the side, we can see that's taken. And we increase this, so we get a number going around the side. I'm going to add around about 10 in there. Go a bit more. Be aware, the more we add, the more overhead it will add for FreeCAD. So it's got to calculate all of these positions. And one more. Let's hit OK. So we've got our first polar pattern in here. Let's add another. I'm going to select the face on the bottom and add another sketch. This is going to be another polar pattern, but I'm going to use two profiles. So we'll use, drop this down and use create arc slot. And I want something, let's go from the center. So it's the center point, it's come out around about 13 millimeters. Let's hit tab and we want a degree. So starting degree is about 120 and hit enter. So we've got our start and we'll come around and just drop it around about here. Next, we need the radius, the radius of that slot. We're going to say around about three millimeters and hit enter. So we've got the slot in here. Let's make sure that this one and this one are in line. And we could put a distance away if we wanted to. Take those two points, set a distance. That fully constrains it. So we've got one profile. Let's right click to cancel. I'm just going to use a simple hole, simple circle for the second profile. I select it, diameter of five millimeters. And we'll set the distance away from this point to this point of around about five millimeters as well. Let's hit close. So we've got the sketch in there. We need to select the sketch and create a pocket. Go for three millimeters and hit okay. So we've got our pocket. We now apply another polar pattern. Select the pocket and create a polar pattern. It's going around the right axis. The normal sketch axis, remember the normal to sketch is protruding straight out from it. So that's correct. And that's increase the occurrences to three and hit OK. Next, I'm going to use top face. Create another sketch. And I'm just going to use a basic circle in here just for a hole. Let's use the dimensioning tool and set the distance away from here to around 50 millimeters and set the diameter to 10 millimeters. Again, hit close and we'll just create a pocket in there. Hit OK. Take that pocket and create a polar pattern again. We'll set that to three and hit OK. And from there, we've learned how to create a sketch that's attached using those advanced attachment modes. Those can be quite confusing because when we start attaching sketches, the axes flip around depending on how that's attached. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B E Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. 
I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.